Hello, everybody. This is Danny from Deep South Homestead. Uh, we're over here with our barrels with our peppers. We are. This is our second picking. This is not the first. And we've got some beautiful banana peppers here. They are just perfect. Now, we've had a few tomato worms on them, but we've, uh, horn worms, whatever you want to call them, we've got them all. Try to watch them every morning, every evening. They're placed in a, as I've mentioned in previous videos, in a strategic location. The sun's going to hit them here in about 20 minutes, and it'll be on them until about 1.30 in the day. And from that point on, they'll be in the shade. We're learning this year that from the uh, heat indexes that we're having, that we can only have short amounts of sun on some of our crops. Now, a lot of crops have been failures, but the peppers, uh, as you can see here, they are just, uh, they're doing fantastic. The banana peppers especially. The uh, mucho nachos uh, are doing really good. So um, we're going to go through here. Uh, we're going to try to get the banana peppers off of it. And kind of show you a little bit about that. Now that we don't, we had some uh, problems with uh, a little bit of a disease on the bottom of these, and we pulled the leaves off. And it seems like they've overcome it. As you can see the tops of the plants are really looking good. We just put some calcium nitrate to them, and we put some magnesium to them, and it seems like it has really helped them. They're starting to show the benefits of it now. It's been a day. The tops are coming out really pretty. Now, they say peppers love to hold hands, so we put the pots close enough together that all the leaves could touch one another. And guys, so, so far, and we have some that we pinched the tops out of. Now, if you notice how all these are really tall, we didn't pinch the tops out of these. But we have some down here, like this one here. You see the difference in the height? Uh, we pinched the top out of this one, and it has like four or five lateral branches coming out on it, loading up with peppers. We're going to see how that works out uh, with with pinching the tops out. Here's another one we pinched the tops out. Now, we had a hornworm get on this one. We got him off before he got too much damage done, but this one's a lot taller. We didn't pinch the top out of it. Now, the mucho nachos here. We did not pinch the top out of this one. We did pinch the top out of this one. The one we pinched the top out of, we've been harvesting peppers off of it daily. We have a few today. Here's one right here. Looks like another one in here. It'll be the first ones we've got off of the ones that we did not pinch the top out of. But I want to show you the ones that we did pinch the tops out of. Oh, look at the stink bugs. We've got to get them off. They're hatching out. Tiny ones. Tiny ones. Guys, that's just part of it. But look at the Look peppers. at the peppers. Look at the difference. We've got to get rid of these stink bugs today. We can't have this. But I was trying to show you a little bit of the difference in pinching the top out of them. Here's another one here. This one we pinched the top out of. We've got several peppers hanging on it everywhere. One over here we pinched the top out of. We've got peppers hanging all over it. Now we did not pinch the tops out of these. Still a lot of peppers on them, but not hanging in clusters like they were. We have some of our big Berthas here. We're trying to keep water in these pots. This is a challenge for us here at Deep South Homestead with this uh, 100 and 708 degree heat indexes that we're having every day. These uh, big Berthas take a lot of, let me get this one leaf out of the way here. These big Berthas take a lot of water. And these pots, we have them designed where they hold water in the bottom. And so far, it seems like our method is working. So we're going to go ahead and try to start getting some of these picked off before the sun gets too hot because we don't like the sun to hit our vegetables before we pick them. They have a tendency to wilt real quick if you do that. They're not good for holding and refrigerator and stuff like that. So before the sun gets up, and I might add, as we go, we, we weed at the same time. 
we take our time and go through these pots and get these little chamber bitters out of here, you would think that after a while, you would eventually have all the chamber bitters, but you don't. Guys, look at that. That's just beautiful. A lot of people let them get a lot bigger than that, but we like ours where they're really sweet and tender. And the more of these you get off of here, the faster the plant will reload because if you don't take your peppers off, the plant thinks that it's going into seed mode and it stops producing. So we like to get ours off as quickly as possible. Plus, we just like to, these things are good to eat. Okay, guys, these are our container grown uh, peppers here. We've got our banana peppers, our mucho nachos. We have plenty of peppers here off of them to get started with. And yes, I know you hear the dogs in the background. It is what it is. Um, they're just hell bent on making life hell for us here. But um, we're trying to keep our peppers going. It seems like they're going to work out all right with this system that we have. We're trying to keep the bottom leaves off. Seems like that's working for us. Uh, we have bumblebees in here pollinating. That's good. We're just excited. We're going to get to put peppers up. You know, we're going to save these for making salsa because that's our biggest issue. We're planning on making salsa this year more than anything else because that seems to be the one thing that uh, we use more of than anything else here at Deep South Homestead. So we are looking forward to that. It looks like God's going to bless, and we're going to be able to have peppers to do that. We're just excited, guys. So thank you, guys, from Deep South